we are in Clarksville at the Haskell House. Clarksville is one of at least 15 Freedom Communities in Austin. And Freedom Communities basically are settlements, they are townships, also known as freemen's towns and colonies that were established after the Civil War until about the 1930s by um, freed people. So the Haskell House is really one of the last symbols of what Clarksville was at one point, right, is this freedom colony. Now we're gonna meet a family with long ties to Clarksville. We are the Griffins from Clarksville. This is my sisters. And, I'm Florence. Uh, and I'm Verna Carroll. And I'm Deborah. I'm Rita. My grandfather, Link Thompson, was raised in the Haskell House. Uh, Linnell, his granddaddy. That's our uh, mother's father, oh, wow. brother really? Squire Johnson. He looks like I'm And a uh, this is uh, Mary uh, Tita mm -hmm. Francis' uh, father. What does, like, looking at the Haskell House, um, I'm, I know it, it brings back certain memories and thoughts for me. What's the significance of this? It's our bloodline. It's definitely positively our bloodline. Um, a lot of history. Uh, with this house is how we learn what the first home looks like in Clarksville. Um, that they all had cabin homes like this and that's how they lived out here then. So it's, it's, it's really important to know. Clarksville, as we see today, is, is different in many ways, um, even though there's work to, to preserve a lot of the landmarks. Um, one of the main reasons that that's the case is because of the City of Austin Master Plan of 1928, which basically worked to segregate Austin. There was this effort to basically push these communities to what we now know, you know, is historic East Austin. And the way they did that is by intimidation and threats and violence and by denying resources and services like, you know, water and flood measures and things like that. Clarksville, unlike, unfortunately, many other freedom communities in Austin, Clarksville really um, sustained itself even, you know, in the midst of so many forces trying to tear the community apart. Um, and so that really just is something really amazing, inspiring about the community um, and something that um, I think we can all learn from. <laughs> 